equivalent of PSG possession. Di Almeida. Back from Karshawi. Di Almeida again. Looking for the run of Baltimore. And the dozier has it. You can see what Di Almeida's trying to do. Trying to play Baltimore in. He's made that deeper run, but well defended in the end. You know, Paris FC have got a good structure, good back four. The keeper seems confident, ready to come out. You know, this, it's going to be a really tough goal, a really well executed goal to beat them. And Dozier hasn't maybe been as busy so far as she might have been expecting. Could change here because PSG do have plenty of options. And Rowie forward towards Vangsgaard. Paris FC goalkeeper recently signing a new contract in March through until the summer of 2025. Four years since she uh, first arrived at the club now. And despite the complaints from uh, Tini, they're going to see the card, I think, here. Yeah, I just don't think she was quick enough to the ball. I don't think she knew where Karshawi was. She was lunging. And late because Karshaw is too so quick, so sharp. <laughs> Treatment goes on for Karshaw. Tini is another who's uh, recently signed a new contract at the age of 37, but it will be her last contract. Next season will be her final season before retirement. I mean, she's have a, had an absolute fabulous career both club and for the national team and she's so experienced she brings such leadership qualities and experience to this Paris FC like you've already, already explained trying to take the next step get closer to the top two teams in the league you know and that takes a lot of learning a lot of patience a lot of experience and, and she offers that to these younger players in abundance will remain important in that respect next season she started actually all but two games in the league this season, contributing five goals as well from midfield. Car, shall we okay to continue? The Almeida. Here's Sakina Kashawi once more. I've been Lika surprised. Martins. Yeah, Sorry, I've been, Laura. No, I've been surprised how, how quiet Lika Martins have been, whether she's trying to rotate and on and offer Karshawi so much time and space down this left hand side, which has worked. Oh, she's going to score a goal now. <laughs> <laughs> right on cue. Here she goes. Brings Grunin into it. Those two uh, Dutch players reunited in the French capital this season. Had a different role, hasn't she, Martins, from that which she previously played with Barcelona? Yeah, I think, I think when you go to big clubs now, there's such competition for places, you know, and you have to bring different problems to every game because every game's getting closer so you know whether it's personnel or different roles in the way you set up you have to find a way to stay keep you placing the team and obviously her and Backman this year have, have shared a lot of minutes yeah, Backman back on the bench for this one there's Hamraoui taking the pass from uh, Gioro Lawrence was trying to get there Does highlight again the, the strength and depth when you look at the substitutes bench. See the likes of Ramona Backman. Marina Fez has made her way into the French national team this season. Corbin Albert was added from the collegiate system in America in January as well. Chinese international Li Meng Wen, another option. As they launch it a bit longer here. And that's before you consider the long term absentees who haven't been a part of things. The likes of Katoto. And Paulina Dudek at the back. Well, I think these big clubs, you know, you have to have large squads if you want to compete and go deep into the Champions League stages, you know, to fight on all fronts, both domestically and in the Champions League. You know, games come thick, thick and fast, so you really have to have the depth because injuries will happen. They're a part of football, so you really have to have the players to come in and, and try and impact games. Certainly part of the thinking over the signing of uh, Lika Martins is, I think, going to be OK to continue. Tend to go to half-time. A 
So football is excited to announce their three-year partnership with the ECNL girls, the Elite Club's National League. Is the leading youth soccer development platform in the United States whose mission is to raise the game by creating the best possible environment for players, coaches, referees and administrators. After football is looking forward to connecting, engaging and inspiring the youth soccer community through this partnership. Let's see if either side here can really seize control before half-time. Chase on for Martin's not going to get to that. Paris FC perhaps will be the happier with how it's gone thus far. Yeah, I think so. I think they've been compact. They've kept their shape well. You know, they've reduced the distances. And like, like we've said, and Dozy really hasn't had a lot to do in goal. You know, a couple of crosses and through balls. You know, she's not been required to make those top world-class saves that she can make. Not yet anyway. And that will be the uh, frustration for Gerard Pressure, really, for all his team's possession. It's not translated to clear cut chances. He will also perhaps be preaching patience. They do really need to win this, though. Four points behind Leon, but. Effectively, really, with the goal difference, that's worth an extra point to the reigning champions. Sean Francois goes long. And back by Baltimore. Thanks for Lawrence. Deoro trying to dig it out from under her feet. It's uh, Kashawi to take over. Plenty in pink back behind the ball now. Hamraoui. Again, we see the player in possession come under pressure. That longer ball from John Francois from the back has worked, though, hasn't it? Not necessarily to get in on the first phase, but PSG is so sharp to win the second ball back, you know, and gain it under control, and then to make intricate passes around the top of the 18-yard box. And now it's just someone, you know, taking the courage to have a shot from distance, you know, turning, like you say, the, the passage of play into some shots on target. Well, maybe the counter-attack for Paris FC. Ochoa was in support, just a fraction behind him. They still make uh, something of it. So, yeah, no way through. There was a chance for a moment. And it was maybe only for a moment. Yeah, I think this against PSG, you only have literally maybe half a second to pull the... You know, take a shot of goal, but it's really well worked, wasn't it? It's was a reminder that, hey, PSG, uh, Paris can get you on the break, they can exploit spaces, have runners, but I've seen Bordeaux in much better confidence than maybe I've seen her today. You know, normally she doesn't think twice, she hits the ball, strikes the ball, is normally extremely confident, but she hasn't quite been at those levels. And she's got seven goals in her last 12 games. She is the second top scorer actually in the league coming into the weekend, behind only the currently injured Diani of PSG. Not quite happened for her so far this afternoon. Here goes Clara Mateo threatening to go all the way through, but coolly across. Step D Almeida. 